Now all the drummers are watching this are like, oh, oh. Not everybody can be drummers, but we can still make sick beats. Welcome to another video on LNA Does Audio Stuff channel. Today I'm going to do a... What's that called? Tutorial. Tutorial. Because my amazing and talented uh, friend, Ida, who is a sound designer uh, for theatre and movies and stuff, I'm going to link her website under this video, so check her work out. But yeah, she was asking me about drum beats. I'm not a drummer, but I'm a producer who's found different ways to go around the fact that I have no idea how to drum. I have idea about rhythm and about how to put that rhythm into a song. So basically, in this video, a non-drummer will tell other non-drummers how to make beats. But basically, drumming for dummies teach by a dummy. So welcome to my channel. Let's make some beats. I have five tips and tricks for you. The first one is randomization, random stuff, putting together and hoping you get something cool out of it. It is studied that uh, random effects on human computer interaction science, uh, the random factors are part of our creative workflow. Yeah, it sounds silly and but actually check that out it is part of example how interfaces are nowadays created and designed and randomization of the interface is part of that you press something that causes an impact but it's not exactly what you expected but because of that reaction you might want to try different techniques which also enhances your creativity. It's like a conversation. So example, what you can do is to upload a, a drum kit on your pad or door. As silly as it sounds, hit buttons in a random order. Okay, so here is the sample I recorded just by pushing the buttons in push. So when I'm listening to it, sounds really random but there's this part that I kind of like so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna copy paste that delete everything else and just put that in the beginning of all parts and here we go so then what I can just start doing is to start modifying. So I could put a kick on every hit. And here we go, a rhythm. And it all started from randomizing. My second uh, trick and tip is applications. On my phone I have an app called Oxy. So example, when you're doing rhythms in an app, the, the difference between you sitting by your computer is that you can concentrate more to the rhythm and the groove. You might actually have a different relationship with the rhythm. And there's plenty of other applications that have drum pads with different sounds. So you can just play around with those. So example, I'm sitting in a train, I'm waiting for a bus, I am having my headphones in, and I have my phone. Listen to the surroundings, listen to music while you're doing it. Don't copy ever anyone else's work, but what you can do is to listen to someone else's music you can feel the rhythm and then you can do it with your app that's a good point so remember that number three numero colme samples sample editing or customize the sample so that you don't even recognize that it was that sample at first so what you can do is reverse things <laughs> make them slower You can uh, pitch whip, shift. Psh. 
or I can example in push and Ableton, I can put the sample in a simpler and basically I just cut the sample up and then play again. And so on Ableton, you can go to the, click the sample and then you can convert drums to a new MIDI track. And then that allows you to edit the drums, edit the uh, drum sounds separately, edit the rhythm. So it kind of gives you a first like a form and then you can go from that forward and customize it for yourself. And, and, and audio recording of a guitar, vocal. If you stretch that, uh, manipulate it, use a, you reverse it, it makes a rhythm. When you loop that rhythm, you can start hearing if that's something that you are liking. So you can start, example, just putting kick and snare, just basic one, two, one, two, one, two. But then you use these different techniques to actually surround it with different rhythms that you can then after that modify and create something really fun and interesting. The good thing is if you get yourself out of the mode of just clicking MIDI notes because I personally get stuck with that and create it somehow instead of just uh, like kick and snare and kick and snare and then like a little bit of hi-hats. Usually you get quite planned normal rhythm with that. You want something different, something people can react to. Number four, this is something that I kind of already told a little bit, but listen to music same time as you are doing a song. Hi guys, so it's another day. I was editing the video. I understood that I really didn't explain the fourth point that well. So if there's a really cool rhythm that really inspires me, I listen what are the details? What are those little details? So usually, example, breaks. What I learned that breaks do a lot for rhythm. They are the ones that make rhythm because without breaks, we would have no rhythm. Clever. Do not copy, just imitate, get the feeling. Why, why do you get that feeling when do you listen to that song? Uh, why do you feel that way? It might be because there's a certain gap between like two drum beats or something. There, there might be something slightly off, something is that it's not completely on the beat. It might be just slightly before and after. So things like that affect to the groove. So when you listen, you study a beat that you really love and you want that, then figure out what is it that makes, makes, it, makes it at that beat. Um, so that's a good one. Number five. Hi, me again. So when I was editing, I kind of decided that I didn't like the fifth point that I originally put, so I changed it. And here is the new fifth point. Uh, tips that I use quite often making beads using FX. So example, delay. granulator to or you can use a pregrater a prep a prop a prop <laughs> you can use that thing To create completely new type of rhythm and with that you can inspire add drums to it so you can put kicks you can put snares you can put toms you can put percussion uh, but you can just keep that almost as a like a base of the the whole thing yeah so that's it happy beat making you all you nice people down out out down out there you have a really lovely day and we will see you Sweet. Oh god, I can. Thank you.
Thank you.